click on the modules button. Find and click on the page you wish to edit. In this case, please choose the page that it corresponds with your Muppet's name. Once you've opened the page, click the Edit button. You'll see a text editor window in the centre of the screen and a link File Image Selector tabs on the right. Click into the text editor and type some text for a title. Select the title text and then select the paragraph drop down box. Within the paragraph drop down box, select the header. Now just add some text if you wish. And now we'll add an image. To add an image that you have already uploaded into Canvas at another time, click on the Embed Image icon. Select the Canvas tab. Find the image in the files. For the purposes of this exercise, please go to Demonstration Images. Please select the image that corresponds with your Muppet. Once you've selected the image, you can change the alt text to make it readable for screen readers. You can change the size if you wish. For such images, usually 250 pixels on the short edge is a good size. And click the Update button. As you can see, this now puts the image in the box. Now we're going to link to a file that we've already uploaded into Canvas as well. To start with, type in the text of the file that you want to link to. Select the text. Go to the Files tab in the File Selector menu. Navigate to the file that you wish to use. In this case, please use go to Demonstration Files and use one of the test file test files that are already uploaded. We can see. Once you've selected the file, the highlighting on the text changes to blue. That indicates that the link is working. Finally, we're going to link to another section in Canvas. Again, type the text that you wish to put in. Select the text that you wish to link to. Go to the Links tab. And in this case, because we're doing a discussion board, you can click into the Discussions area and choose the discussion board you wish to link to. Once you've done that, click Save. Now you'll see that the page has been edited and your content is there. In order for students to see this page content, we still need to publish this page. So to publish this page now, we'd simply go up to the Publish button and click Publish. You also have the option of returning to this page later to publish it. You can publish it from here or you can publish it from the modules list. So just click Publish.